Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. Why did I say that? Okay, I said that because I wanted to deviate from the normal way of greeting. I didn't feel like saying hi, hello. I just wanted to say, I'm here. So yeah, I care. I hope you're all good. Thank you for having me back again. And uh, what's the only business structure? And we have instructions, or oh, an instruction saying, choose the word from the list letter A to D, the one that can best and most suitably fill in the blank space. Okay, so that's still a Lexus structure. And by the way, what is Lexus? When we talk about Lexus structure in English language, it simply means all the words and uh, and what? Okay, all the words that dictionary grammatical words. Yeah, grammar, Lexus structure. Yeah, grammar. So they're like words that make up sentences, how sentence structures are formed, and all of that. That's like this is structure. Okay, so on the number 16, we have Chike was dash tired and hungry when he returned from the farm. And their options are A, both, B, neither, C, not only, D, either, E, nor. Which is it? Which is it? Let's check it out. Okay, so we have two elements showing plurality. Two elements, all of them, two elements, tired and hungry. So there are two elements, they are two qualities. So the quality of being tired, being fatigued, and the quality of being hungry, craving for food. So there are two different quantities and were used and were both used in the sentence. So because they are two quantities or elements, we have to choose both as the answer. So we can now say Chike was both tired and hungry when he returned from the farm. Okay, so our answer, there we have it. Option A, both. Chike was both tired and hungry when he returned from the farm. For 17th question, a cell 17th question. I think you or I dash wrong. Okay, I know for sure that this particular question has been of, um, um, it's been of immense dispute in the English language. It's been always up for debate and there's been this party for or against the use of R, is, am, and the rest as uh, the correct answer. So I want to explain something to you now. But before that, let's look at the options we have. We have option A, is, option B, R, option C, M, option D, was, and option E, well. So when you look at these options, they can actually be small fitting. Okay, like they, I think they kind of sound all, well, they, they all sound well if you're to use them, but in English language, we're not just talking about using certain words to fill in the gaps because they sound well, because we feel they sound okay to the ears, you know. But we are actually out to to talk about meaning, okay? Suitable, the, the, the suitably meaning words, okay? The words that have suitable meaning per se, the sentence or question, that is. So we're looking at the words that actually obey certain grammatical rules in the English language and not just choose answers because we feel they sound okay in our ears. No, we choose them because they are actually grammatically correct. Now, I want to tell you this. I know this is, it, 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 it's absurd. I mean, I'm about to say it and I, I already feel absorbed. I only I already feel the absurdity <laughs> before saying it, but I'm feeling it. I'm not. I haven't said it yet, but I'm feeling it. Now, do you know that in a structure like this, now just like Concord, the agreement between a verb in a sentence and uh, the subject. Remember rules of Concord: plurality verb goes with plurality. Uh, 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 subject, um, single verb goes with single subject. Do you remember that? Good. Now here we have sort of like the concord kind of thing here because here 
to arrive at the correct answer, we have to know that the word form must agree with the noun or pronoun closest to it. Okay, so it has to agree. Now, that is to say that the element, of course, it, it, we have two pronouns here, yeah? that's you or I, that you, I, you and I are both the pronouns here, but they both are not the necessary factors that would determine which, uh, which uh, or, 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 or verb or, or, or word that will fit into the gap. So the one that actually determines the word that will fit into the gap is the closest, the closest noun or pronoun. Okay, so the closest noun or pronoun to the dash will determine what to use. Okay, so that is to say that looking at this now, we can now see. I know it sounds so absurd. But I'll say it anyways. So looking at this, we can now say with all audacity that either you or I am wrong. Yeah, it sounds that bad, right? <laughs> yeah, I think you or I am wrong. Well, that's, that's it. So that is to say that you are actually saying I am wrong. Okay? Now the am is actually agreeing with the pronoun closes to it, which is I. That is, I am wrong. Okay? So, in other words, we are overlooking the you. Hmm? The first pronoun of the sentence, the you. We are overlooking it and we're going for the second pronoun. So, we have to obey the second pronoun. So, the correct answer is am. I hope that did it. So, we go on to our options. Where did we see it again? Yeah, option C. Am. That is the correct answer. I think you are wrong. Now we have it. Okay, so I'm hoping that when you come across similar questions, you will get to not be confused. Okay, you will get to be able to pick out the correct answer. For case number 18, not only was he a liar, dash a thief. So our options are A or B also, but also C nor E, no, D and and E, however. So or, but also, nor and however, there are the options, so which is correct. Now we are talking about two qualities. There are two qualities here. So the pronoun he is a thief. Sorry, the pronoun he is a liar. Yeah, the pronoun he is a liar. Hmm? So, in this case, we're not saying that he's just a liar. Along the line, we also found out that he's also a thief. So, the thief thing is an additional quality to his initial character, which is lying. So, not only was he a liar, but also a thief. That's an addition, but also an addition. Okay? So it also added thief. Thiefing. Still, right? Is that what I'm thinking? I think so. Is that? I can't remember. But the thing is, it added still in July. So those are two qualities. So our correct answer is but also. And we have an option B, but also. Okay, on 19th question, the trader sells dash books and shirts. And we have options neither, not only, both, nor, and, or, which is correct. Now, books and shirts are two uh, elements, right? Yeah, there are two elements of books and shirts. They're different. So there are two elements, and the combination of two elements joined, by, joined together by the conjunction and automatically means that we have to use both, right? Because we're talking about books and shirts, there are two things, both. So our correct answer is both. And now it is safe to say that the trader sells both books and shirts. That is it. And in the 20th question, she did not only condemn the man's action, but also dashed it. 
Okay, so what should be in the blank space? Now we have our options A, will criticize, B, criticizes, C, criticize, D, criticized, and E, must criticize. So which is it? Now remember that the auxiliary verb has to agree with the uh, main verb, okay, or main verb or main verbs in the sentence or in the sentence. So the auxiliary verb here is did. And we can see that did is in the past tense. Remember? Do, present tense. Did, past tense. Done, past participle. Remember that? Good. So here we have did. And did is past tense of do. So since did is in the past tense, the verb, that's the main verb, one of the main verbs, would also be in the past tense. And so criticized will be the correct answer. Okay, so we cannot go for criticize or criticizing or criticize this. We go for criticized with the ED as our correct answer. And then we have a option D, criticized in the past tense. So she did not only condemn the man's action, but also criticized it. Okay, we have come to the end of the video. I hope you learned something. I really hope you did. I did. I did. So don't forget to like or comment. Okay? Please like, please comment, please share, please subscribe, please, 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 please. So please like and comment and um, don't forget to subscribe. Okay? You subscribe. Remember, I keep saying it when you subscribe, you get free access to videos or lots of videos from different educational content, on different subjects, or your choice, and of course, on different topics. Okay? And of course, we would know the topics that, uh, we know the topics to learn together if you comment. Okay? So it's all when you comment that you tell us the topics or the areas where you would need to learn about. Okay? Where you would need to know more about. So we are here for you. All right, is it prep class, right? <laughs> yeah, of course we are. Do I need to Oh, come on, tell me I'm looking for. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm looking for. Okay, so until we learn next time, see you, stay strong, stay happy, stay safe. I want to say that right, it's like a slogan now. Yeah. <laughs> Be happy, okay? Bye.